cleaning up the attic in my room and I found quite a few of cassette DEX units made in Europe or perhaps Japan, I don't know that exactly. This was for sure a Philips a cassette deck that I salvaged and here I think a Japanese cassette deck and also here and these cassette decks were used for computer applications for instance the Commodore 64 but also for music so they had a quite broad application in electronics and here you see a cassette recorder that I made in the past by myself uh, using a cassette deck and after that made all the electronics here inside. So I had to make it very simple uh, in this way with a kind of lid and in such a way that I could put in the, ca the cassette easily etc. I also have here a head demagnetizer from Akai from the 1980s. Um, it's a coil with two electrodes here and here at the end we have a very strong 50 Hz um, electromagnetic signal that can wipe out, wipe out all the remnant uh, magnetization at the, at, at, at the heads from the coil, so sorry, the heads from the um, cassette unit. Here we have the record head and the erase head. And when the tape slides along these two heads, it could be that they are magnetized more or less permanently, and that does not give good properties uh, when sound is played back. So you can use this head demagnetizer and move it slightly alongside the erase head here and the uh, uh, record head here. So they are uh, demagnetized. You can hear the hum and also feel the hum when you do that. A good exercise, etc. Anyway, these units were made by uh, Japanese manufacturers and also by Philips, etc. etc. And I saved them because in the future perhaps it will be it will be interesting to uh, make a new cassette recorder so this was all to tell